before you brush your teeth or brew your coffee this morning, you'll definitely want to listen to this. That's right. Three large areas of Fort Wayne are under a boil water advisory. Wayne 15's Michael Kuhn has been following this story all night. He joins us live at Citizen Square with the latest. Here in about an hour, city utilities officials will be holding a press conference right here at Citizen Square to update us on this situation. But here's what we know right now. Sometime late last night or early this morning, a vehicle crashed into a high voltage power line. As a result, the Three Rivers water filtration plant briefly lost power. City utilities said the plant's high service pumping system responded appropriately, but pressure did drop momentarily because of the power outage. As a precaution, and city utilities issued a boil water advisory for three large areas of Fort Wayne until further notice. The northwest section affects customers who live within the boundaries of Washington Center Road, Hillegas Road, Spring Street, State Boulevard, and Parnell Avenue. Hillegas to Sherman, Vance Extended, and Sherman to Parnell are also affected in the northwest area of this uh, boil advisory. The southeast area includes boundaries of Pontiac Street, Fairfield Avenue, Paulding Road, and Hessen Castle Road. The boundaries for the southwest area are Airport Expressway, Smith Road, Ferguson Road, and Airport Drive. During this time, affected customers should use bottled water or boil any water that's going to be used for drinking food preparation, making ice, or brushing teeth. The water is safe, however, for bathing and other uses that don't involve consumption. City water crews have been testing water around the city throughout the night, but the boil advisory does still remain in effect. As I mentioned, City Utilities will be here at 6 o'clock to give us an update. We'll pass that information along to you right here on Wayne 15 as that happens. In the meantime, you can go to Wayne.com for a more detailed breakdown of that map. It's a bit confusing with all of those road names in there, but on Wayne.com you can find this story uh, and get a little bit more clarity on that to see if you are inside one of those affected areas. We're live at Citizen Square this morning. Michael Kuhn, Wayne 15 News.